Dennis O'Hare was born in 1962 in Kansas City, Missouri. I hope that sounds as weird to you as it did to me. Why is Kansas City in Missouri? I thought Kansas City would be in Kansas. His career began in elementary school when he was cast as the pig in the school play. He went on to pursue those childhood dreams of the stage studying theater at Northwestern University. Dennis has a long resume of theater work, even garnering a Tony for best performance by a featured actor in a play. You may recognize him from his performances in The Good Wife, Dallas Buyers Club, or from guest appearances in Law & Order. I know, another Law & Order actor. Just be grateful he's not also in Supernatural. Dennis may be most recognizable from his many roles in American Horror Story and from his appearance on True Blood, where he plays the Vampire King of Mississippi. Fitting. Although I don't forgive you for making my friend's head explode. I know this series is supposed to be about highlighting actors that aren't normally under the public light, but imagine being an actor who's in so many pop culture and well-known television shows like American Horror Story and True Blood and movies like Dallas Fires Club, seen by hundreds of thousands of people, and you still don't know his name. That's sad. I mean, okay, it's not as sad as a lot of things but I'm sad. Dennis has Drama Desk and Critics' Choice Awards to his name, as well as plenty of Emmy and Screen Actors Guild nominations, because he's just so great! He has also appeared on RuPaul's Drag Race. Not in drag, unfortunately, but as you'll soon see, he's more than qualified. I can't help but be drawn to Dennis's outstanding work in, um, in modern pop culture TV. So I want you to take a look at some of my favorite moments. I thought you were an actor. You don't have to have a resume to be beautiful or talent to be an actor. Just ask Lawrence Harvey. I'm not an actor. Four years of auditioning and I booked one under five on the Colby's. You need a little moonshine. I did get to work with Charlton Heston though. Not everyone can say that. I don't even have a room at this hotel. I've got nothing. No one for eternity. No pity party in my bar. Can someone come pick up their aunt? <laughs> the country remains undecided. <laughs> but no, in the end, we are nothing like you. We are. <laughs> Immortal, <laughs> because we drink the true blood. Blood that is living, organic, and human. It, forget the on-screen massacre. I, I'm calling the police on those sideburns. Here's what you need to know. Dennis didn't have to do this, but he did this. I, I will never reach this level of glamour. American Horror Story turned Dennis from scary to fab like that and something similar happened to Finn Wittrock, and I got a close eye on Evan Peters. Dennis is a hard worker. He takes on an obscene number of projects per year, appearing in seven films in 2007, along with at least three guest appearances on s TV shows. He's also been writing stage and screenplays. Life's a game and Dennis keeps winning it. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't dress up for this episode, it is because I have a dentist appointment after this. And if I dressed how I wanted to, like Dennis O'Hare, uh, I wouldn't be allowed in the dentist's office anymore. But, but at the same time, Dennis is living proof that you don't need a dentist to make it in showbiz. I, I love you, Dennis. You know I just gotta roast everybody on this show, okay? It's, it's no hard feelings. Uh, join us next week where I discuss what dark chocolate can help you lose a few pounds. I'm the ghost of Dennis O'Hare! It's just, just the semantics, okay?